Hi, I'm Christy, and today I'm going to try to style a pixie cut that is dry. So, wish me luck. I don't know about you, but I have been watching so many tutorials on what to do with a pixie cut. Now keep in mind, I gave this pixie cut to myself. So if it doesn't look good, I don't care. I didn't pay for it and it'll grow out. So I've been cutting my hair since I was 14 years old. I think I've only been to a hairdresser maybe four times since then. And every time I've left in tears because I can never find anybody to do what I want. So I thought I'll just do it myself. And if I fuck up, who cares? But I did see this one tutorial and I'm going to try to go along with what she's trying to do. Only I'm going to do it with dry hair because... I didn't get the exact same product she did. I got the Verb Volume Dry Texture Spray, which sounded right. But this goes on dry hair. What she's using is very similar sounding Verb Volume, but it goes on damp hair. So this is me with my dry hair. I've actually not even put a brush through it right now. So I'm gonna go just to see if it'll lay down. I don't know. All right, first step she says, she sprays this stuff on. So the key to this tutorial is product. This Verb Volume Spray is awesome because it will essentially do the work for us in terms of getting volume in the top, which is something I really like. I won't be using a round brush, which traditionally gives you that volume that I desire because we just don't have enough time to round brush. So this spray will really do the work for us. Also, if you have a mousse or something similar, just use that. Next, we're taking our hairdryer with the concentration nozzle at the end and first focusing on the sides, blow drying the hair down to keep that nice and smooth and straight on either side. Then we're gonna take the top portion and for this, I'm focusing on volume and texture. So what it feels like, it feels like hairspray, but not really. Uh, it's not super sticky, but it does have that hairspray kind of feel, like the next day when you wake up after you've had hairspray in your hair, which is not bad, but I guess that's the whole point of it. It gives your hair texture, which to me, it looks exactly the same. Well, maybe I just didn't use enough. Because I always feel like they use so much more than I would use. Been using my fingers, la 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 la. And if you know me, I don't go by pretty. If it's messy, oh, that's how it would be anyway. The way I leave the house is the way I'm going to look the rest of the day. And sorry, I did not put makeup on, so I look extra white. I'm pasty white. Like, if you had bacon on a piece of paper towel and then you pick the paper towel up and it's that translucent like you can almost look through it that's my skin now the next thing she uses is this loma molding cream uh i mean this is huge it's like eight fluid ounces it will probably take me five years to go through all this because you only take out like a little pea size so take a small amount and just warm it up in your hands to start. And then we're gonna be running it through my hair, mainly focusing on the sides. And so I just kind of take my fingertips and run it through. As you'll see, it leaves a bit of a white cast at first, especially if you put a lot on like I just did. Uh, but don't worry because once you just work it into the hair and also as it dries, it dries clear. So don't worry. Um, and then I'm going to focus on the down, the hairline on the back of my head just because that can kind of flip up <laughs> awkwardly. Doing it on the other side of my hair, the same thing as well. Just helping those sides stay down and smooth. Then what we're going to do is take the rest of the product and just kind of run it through my hair at the top. What I'm doing here is deciding which side I like my hair parted that day. It honestly changes every single day, but I just decided on this side and then I run the extra product through the ends of my hair. This will kind of have that separated look that I like. Again, trying to go for a messy, tousled look and just separating the ends of the pieces give me that edgy, messy look that I'm going for. Also running it through the roots of my hair at the top to again, get me some volume. And then we're pretty much done. This does not look like that. Okay, let me finger 
Let me finger my hair some more. And this is where a mirror comes in handy. Mine's a little broken. So I'll look in the back and I'll realize, oh my God, the people that are walking behind me, bless their hearts, what they have to see. But again, like I don't use a round brush. I'm not going to use a flat iron. I mean, let's be honest. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. My hair's got a natural kind of a wave, the kind of wave that's just annoying because it's not a curl, but it's not straight, but it will annoy the fuck out of you. And it's like, I've got two cow licks right here in the back and then one giant one back in, I guess what the crown is. I don't even know what a crown is. So I guess, I guess, this is, this, this is as good as I'm going to do it. So this is me attempting to do the Pixie with the products. So I used Verb. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. And I used Loma. Boop, boop. Boom, boom. I mean, they're great products. They're like, you know... About 20 bucks a piece, but again, if you got a pixie cut, I mean, this stuff is gonna last forever. I mean, you're never, like I said, a pee of this every day if you do your hair every day, which let's be honest, I probably won't. Uh, it's gonna last a long time. So, what do you think? I almost think it looks exactly the way it did before I even did anything, brushed it or anything. It may be laying down a little better in the back because, you know, when you're sleeping. I guess it's all right. I don't know. And then for the color, I use Punky. Boop. And this stuff is great because it's the shampoo, the conditioner, and the color all in one. Because my hair, let's be honest, is pretty much just straight up silver right now. Uh, so I put this on it. Like if I want the really dark color, I put it on my dry hair. Let it sit, watch TV for a half an hour, wash it out, and it is bright purple. Or if I'm just, you know, want to do a shower or something, I put it on very first when I get into the shower. And then when I'm done bathing and shaving my furry hairball down, then I wash it out and it, it keeps pretty good color. And all of these products are animal cruelty Free and no animal testing, cruelty free, which is all I want in a product. So for the most part, any products I use, I try to make them always be cruelty free. One slip through and I'll do another video on it, but I found a substitute for it that is also cruelty free. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. Uh, you like it or hate it, just fine. Let me know. You know, I'm kind of curious what other people with pixies think. If you've got any tips or ideas or product suggestions, by all means, let me know. Cause I, I'm a mom. My mom, uh, my kid's grown now, but I was a mom in my twenties. And when you're a mom, you just forget how to be a girl. And I've forgotten how to do hair and I've forgotten how to do my makeup. So I'm trying to relearn how to do the things I was pretty decent at at 17 that I'm not so great at now. So thank you and continue watching.